From a small private collection of artifacts and craftworks in the basement of Robert's house, Panty Museum was accorded private museum status in the year 2000. And being closely linked to the art center, architect Paul McCula was then inspired to making the building an art center. In my own life as an architect, which is my, my number one life, I always was interested in the idea of, of communities. To work for communities is the most satisfying way of actually being an architect. Because every time you do something, you actually learn something and you can really make a difference. So as we went along, uh, we start picking up a few things here. There's an artwork from here and something else wonderful from there. We bring them in for lessons or we kind of organize through the African Art Center to sell their work. And so slowly you become all involved and you start to find out more. And then as you go in, you find a lovely beer pot. And then we find that in this area, there are different pots to in that area. Or in this area, they're decorated slightly differently. And so I've been collecting all these years out of respect for what people actually do, this wonderful art, and out of the objective of actually showing it to the rest of the world. With the museum having a spectacularly rich collection of over 5,000 artifacts, one of their premier attractions is the 30 life-sized puppets clothed in ceremonial attire representing various ethnographic districts. I would like to note the one from Tukela Ferry, a married woman. She's wearing an apron which is made out of a bark skin called Isikwayo in Zulu. It's a, a pregnancy apron that is worn by a married woman, especially when she's pregnant for the first time. We also have a puppet who's symbolizing a man playing guitar. Maybe we can say you must stand his dress in a, a modern way. Men were employed up in the city, in Cape Town, in the mines. Some of them were employed as domestic workers working in the kitchen, cleaning the houses. When the man was employed in the kitchen as a domestic worker, they were wearing skins. They couldn't allow them to enter into their houses with the skin. So they had to find something to replace those skin that will suit them while they are working for them. Those are called kitchen suits. The artifacts that impressed me most here were, uh, I think, the dresses, because you could see uh, different yeah, types of, of, of people and of, of tribes. Interesting to see how people could craft things out of wood and like the different color combinations you could tell from which area a person is. All the beautiful beaded vests that the brides have to make, and they can't talk, they can only sing so they don't gossip. I thought that was all very, very interesting. <laughs> the puppets with all the clothes, and I especially like the aprons and the capes with lots of beads, it's because you can just see how much work went into that. <laughs> 